What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stalker Clear Sky. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as NPCs walk into each other in the buggiest manner possible. That right there, that's the old cheeky breaky dance next to the fire, they're getting it done. Welcome to Stalker everybody. Welcome to Stalker. So anyways, I just did like a big tutorial thing a minute ago where it talked about the PDA and I guess this game has some kind of like faction control point thing going on. If we press P right here, we can go ahead and take a look at that so the people that maybe haven't played this game but played the first one will know how the game functions. It looks like there's a faction war going on in our zone right now between Clear Sky and the Renegades and each one has strength. It has like the amount of squads you have right here, the amount of resources you have and it looks like we're pretty outgunned at the moment which is a little bit unnerving but nonetheless since my nervous system is fraying anyways what do we have to lose I don't entirely know what these little buttons do right here we do not have superiority renegade base is intact and we do not have control over the road to cordon okay and if we go over to here it's also got our statistics which I suppose gives us our relationship or our stats or something like that with all the different factions it looks like the renegades don't like us by default or something so I guess we'll try and sort that out in just a minute still the clear sky faction wants us to go out there and take care of business so that's exactly what we are going to do we also have a message log over here I guess that's always the best place to put all your messages on a log I mean, nothing like a good piece of timber for recording one's exploits. Let's go, and we're supposed to find, I think, we need to capture a pump station. Okay, so we can get our pump on. I, there's a yellow dot over here, which I think means that there's a trader or something like that. Yeah. Okay, so the yellow dot means that we have a trader. Can I do anything with you yet? From foreign lands, what come you with? A bursting purse? A prized exotic wonders? I come with, like, nothing, basically. Neither, unfortunately. I got hit by an emission and barely survived. Totally empty now. The emission seems to have scattered all my goodies over the swamps. Yikes, I don't like to give out my goodies. You gotta earn my goodies. Yeah, I heard your story. I reckon the main thing is that you're still alive. Stuff is easy enough to replace, so long as the zone is kind to you. So, you gonna trade, or you got some questions for me? Is that Steve Bloom? That's Steve Bloom doing a Russian accent. Or I guess a Ukrainian accent, because Chernobyl's in Ukraine, right? Anyways, yeah, yeah, even the swamps is a hush-hush, or in a hush-hush joint like this one, there's a place for a trader. What do you know? Alright, this is too... Nah, I don't care about all that. Fine, whatever. I'm just gonna click through this because it's trader talk. This doesn't, I don't think, have anything to do with the game. And so I just want him, like, out of the way for right now. Okay, so let's see. I picked up a pistol off that guy. And so I might be able to sell one of those bad... $23 for a pistol? 23 rubles? Damn it. Okay, well I thought that was gonna be worth a lot. Ooh, you got a big shotgun right there. A very common and utterly unremarkable over and under hunting rifle used mostly by rookies on the outskirts of the zone. Uses 12 by... I want that. Well, no wonder you make so much money, man. Your markup is like a gajillion percent. You made 23 rubles for a perfectly good pistol, and then you won't trade... Mmm. I don't like you already. I don't like you already. Take it, but just know. Just, just know that I'm not happy with you, I guess. It looks like he has infinite rubles, too. Oh, we have 223 rubles. Hooray! I call them rubles because they sound more fun than rubles. I don't know. It might bother some people, but rubles, that's an undeniably fun word. Like, rubles, rubles, gonna get some rubles. I don't know. It seems like something that would be the theme of, like, a festive song. I don't know. It sounds like an awesome food that you would order at, like, an ethnic restaurant. Be like, I'll have three fried rubles, please. They taste delicious. They only cost, like, $1.99. Hey, pal. You've got a red thing over your head. Well, obviously you already know since you waved to me, so let's get this over what with. Are you waiting for? So I guess this guy wants to go to the Great Swamps, which are vastly superior to just the Good Swamps, and way, way better than just the Average Swamps. So we'll say yes to that question right there, and I guess we'll be on our way. You know the rules. You'll go blindfolded. Just don't let go of my shoulder, and you'll be fine. Are you sure it's your shoulder I'm going to be holding on to? I couldn't... I, I'd have to mess with people if I was going to be blindfolding them all the time. So you can take your blindfold off. Don't you try to follow me, it won't work anyway. If you want to come back to the base, find one of the guys at the fishing hamlet. Okay, so what's going on? I hear a lot of shooting. It's a little bit unnerving. Can I go back this way? It looks like you're at the Great Swamps now. Be extremely careful and don't try to be a hero. Check out your PDA. You should find the location of our squad there. Just you get yourself over to the fishing hamlet. That's where they are. Are those bullets actually affecting the thing that I'm shooting? It seems like he's kind of far. I don't want to waste that though. I'm gonna save that for. This thing used to work pretty well on these things. It looks like he's grooming. I'm ruining his bath time. Sucks for him. 
That doesn't appear to work either. What's the range like on these guns? I remember them shooting a little bit further than this. Are you guys going to run away or are you going to come straight at me? Don't come at me. Oh, they're hiding out in the reeds. Oh, this sucks. Maybe they're... Po oh, man, they're everywhere. My cursor isn't turning red, though. It used to turn red. Oh, that did it. Yup. Shut down. Come on, bring it. I don't know what you are, but I'm going to shoot you with a shotgun, and it is going to be satisfying. Ah, like a Snickers bar for the soul. You don't want to do this. That's right. Eat your friend. That's always a good thing to do after I shoot him in the face. Ah, wasting my ammo right now. You and your must up face. Yeah, get sat down. You that don't run. You know I'm going to get you either way. Who's shooting right now? Are they shooting at me? Who are they shooting at? Ugh. This zone, the visibility is like next to zero. I don't feel good about this. And what I know about stalkers is that they can shoot through bushes and trees and stuff, and I can't. Can I loot you? No, I can't loot you. Well, why can't I loot you? Normally you can loot everything. You guys got anything for me? Used to be able to loot these too. Sometimes you could cut trophies off of them and make a little bit of money. Doesn't look like it though. Okay, so who's in a blazing gunfight over here and where are we going? Let me take a look at my PDA real fast. On the map, it looks like we got a red guy. We got a mutant right there. That must be a control point. So that's a pump station. Okay, so we got control points all over. So let's go ahead and I guess we'll get trucking and we'll see what we can accomplish in this episode. I think we probably want to hold it down for our faction if we actually want to be inducted as a member. And... Okay, it sounds like we won. They didn't even need my help. Hooray for winning! I was totally there. You saw me. I was hiding behind that barrel shooting at that thing. The hell is that noise? It sounds close. Oh, Christ! No! I don't want to fight you, Battle Boar. Go back where you came from. This isn't an MMO. I don't need to level up right now. Now is not the time for your shenanigans. Looks like there's some dudes over there. Are they friendly? I think they're friendly. Okay, let's go over here and we'll see what we have. Hopefully we don't step on any anomalies along the way either. That would totally be the Suxors. What is this? Okay, so those are boulders apparently. I don't know. It looked like a dead body for a second. That boulder had the delightful look of a dead body that might have loot for me. So defend the camp, the watch out tower, the lookout tower. Are we defending here? Like... Wait, where is the lookout tower? Hold on. Oh no. Do I have three minutes or three seconds? I don't think I have that much time. Well, I'm coming as fast as I can, man. You gotta give me a little bit of time to warm up. I can't just jump straight into it like this. There's more people here than just me. Here, we'll take care of that. You're not getting slaughtered. I'm sure you're gonna be fine. Oh, dude, there's bandits. No! There's bandits everywhere. Oh my god, and they got shotguns and stuff. I'm gonna shoot some rounds. No! I do not like this. This is a bigger gunfight than I expected. Okay, he's down. I don't want you close to me. I don't want you to participate. Wow, how many bullets can you soak? Hey, none of that. You stop it right now, sir. Oh, no. I've been nicked. I don't want to be nicked right now. Nicked or tottered or anything else. Oh, we killed him? Oh, we're the best. Hell yeah. Hooray for clear sky. Uh, uh, what? What? Clear sky making all the bandits die. Leave them out to fry. In the middle of the night, what? Get ourselves, what is this right here? Okay, so we got some shotgun shells and a shotgun, which I assume that I can sell to somebody for a little bit of Skrilla. We've got some shotgun shells right there, which I will also take. I don't really like the, oh God, that scared me. I don't like the default shotgun in this game very much. It's not like really a suitable weapon. It's sort of just like a holdout, you have no choice type weapon. And unless you're at point blank range, you probably aren't hitting anybody. Got one right there. I'm going to try and take back everything I can, though, so I can sell it and make a little bit of cash. He's got a little baby Mac on him. Ooh, and a sausage. Hell yeah. We cut off a man's sausage after we defeat him. That's how you really let him know that you won. So who do I need to talk to so that I get rewards? Oh, one of our guys is dead over here, too. What do you have? Ooh, a better gun. Ooh. Yes, sir, play, sir. I take a this right here, and then I put the shotgun in my inventory, and then I take the good shotgun right there. Ooh, yes, the boomstick. Wait. Who's talking right now? And why am I list? Is this one better? It looks like it's got a longer tube on it, so you would assume it would fire a little bit better. Or at least be a tiny bit more accurate. It's kind of dark, too. Do I have a light still? I think the L key used to do that in the previous game. So now that I've secured this thing, am I more awesome? Does everybody love me more? Oh, no. This guy's trying to take over this thing over here by himself. I'm going to try and stay on the trail. Oh, hell. 
Maybe I should help this dude out. What the hell was that? Eh. Ooh, a big old church. Okay, so... Are there bad guys over here? Eliminate the enemy in the southern farmstead. I like this, actually, though. I like how there's, like, little objective-y things you're supposed to be going around and doing. I don't know. It's got, like, some, like, free-form gameplay to it that I like. I really like games that have control points and things like that that you get to play around with. That was actually one of my favorite MMOs of all time. It was called Tabula Rasa. Not a lot of people played it, but I liked it. It was one of Richard Gary's. Ooh. -hoo. Okay, so we got nailed. Hold on. Let's get the hell out of here. We're too close. We're taking a little bit of damage. It's time to retreat. Yup. Let's get back out of here. I'm going to try and take some cover behind a tree, like in some bushes or something. Our health is way... We've reinforced our position in the swamps enough to give the renegades a real good kicking. Our next objective is their main base. I don't want to kick them. I want to shoot them. And then I kick them, sir. All right, so we've got... If I could maybe accidentally kill one of them at range, it might make our lives a little bit easier. God, they are like down in the bushes, aren't they? I can't see worth ass what I'm shooting at, and unfortunately our health is low enough to where I don't feel confident about my abilities to like outshoot these guys. My hope is that eventually they would like advance on our position maybe, and in so doing expose themselves. That's right, I want the enemy to expose themselves to me. That's what I'm saying. Oh, look, we got guys on our side now. I see green dots. I see green dots. That's always a good thing. Maybe we have a chance now. Let's stay low. Oh, they're going in. That guy's got a backpack. You know he's going to survive. He's got badass armor. He doesn't have a very good pistol, though, so we might have to live with the fact that... I hope we get credit just for, like, being here. I'm going to fire at the red indicator because that worked for me all throughout the first game. I don't normally like to use my iron sights in this game because it's easier to hip fire, and I do enjoy the way that the game allows you to choose. Yeah, it looks all quiet in my ass. There's a dude. There's a dude in there. I know he is. Oh my god, there's so many. What do we do now? They're everywhere. No, I don't like this. This is gonna hurt. Have we taken the interior yet? I'm gonna go for the interior. Uh, please be nobody in here. It's like one of those ride or die moments. Okay, so there's nobody in here. I can't see out those bushes right there. But the AI can, so that's a little bit nerve-rattling. I'm going to try and get, I guess, to higher ground, possibly. That will expose me. But it should also allow me to kill my enemies without too much trouble. Aim body, little bastard. Oh, is that my guy? No, I shot my guy. I didn't mean to. Ooh, he got put down. Damn, like a dog with leukemia. Is that an enemy right there? Who's the bad guys? That's a bad guy right there. I know it. I can sense it. I can sense it in the water. Oh, is he down? Okay, so we got that guy. See, I knew I could help somehow. I knew I would be an asset to this mission instead of just an ass like I normally am. Did we kill them all? Damn, the gunfights are like intense in this game because there's so many of them. I suppose that as long as I keep standing beside my brothers in the way that we were meant to stand, we shall... We smash them to pieces. I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna... Ooh, this guy's got liquor. Yeah, I'll take some liquor. Here, take it all. Yup. I don't know if I want all the guns and everything, though. They don't seem to sell for very much. I'm gonna pick through some bodies real fast. Do you have anything? Can I talk to you? Like, so who's the guy that I talk to in order to be like, Yeah, we won, and then I get, like, quest rewards. Oh, you guys got machine guns and stuff? I should have left you to fry. Got a Makarov over here. I could have upgraded my guns. This guy's got more stuff. My max weight is 60-something kg. I'm just going to take all of that, and I'm not going to focus too heavily on taking guns and stuff. I mean, I could pick up all the shotguns that are on the ground and things, but... First, you put that gun away. Sorry, I don't want to shoot you. Look, my gun's away. Please don't hurt me. I'll just shine a flashlight in your eyes. Is that obnoxious? Dicky, 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 dicky. All right, so let's continue looting. Because we are broke as a joke right now. And if I could keep myself reasonably well stocked. Are they going to attack again? How's the map looking? Is it looking good for us right now? It looks like, oh my god, the map is huge. Jesus, I didn't expect that to happen. Oh my load. Loady, loady, load. Let's take a look here. Looks like there's something off to the east. 
that we could go after. Or that looks like it's got like a little symbol right there. It's got kind of like a little castle thing. Ooh, there's a stash right there. There's a hatch near the station. I buried my goodies under one of the hatches near the station so I wouldn't lose it all to some robber. Well, maybe we should go check that out. That seems like a decent plan. How is the war going in our favor? Are we winning right now? Oh, their squads went down and our squads went up. Yep, holding it down for the team. That's how we do it. Okay, so what does this do? We have achieved superiority, so that means that we're doing better. Their base is intact. Oh, so these are kind of like mini objectives. Okay, so I get it now. How many people have I killed? Playtime four hours? I have definitely not played for four hours. That has not been a thing. We've killed three stalkers and seven monsters. We're doing good right now. Hell yeah, we're the best. All right, hooray for me. There's a dead guy over here. I'm gonna go loot him. Hey, you dead guy. I'm gonna take your stuff. It is the right of the wastes. When you die, eh, somebody's shooting again. I don't like this. Ooh, a med kit. Hell yeah. Okay. So now we got options. Who's being shot at over here? Ooh, it's radioactive. I don't want to go that way. Never mind. Okay, so let's not get ourselves any new glowing organs or anything like that. Although it might be good for a party favor. You'd be like, hey, look, I have a glowing organ. And then everybody would be like, ooh, let me look at your glowing organ. be a great way to increase exposure for your organ, but who knows. I... I'm talking about a musical instrument right now. You guys have filthy minds. That's all that I'm saying right now. Don't be mad because I have vast knowledge of church instruments. I like the organ, actually. That was one of my favorite things I've ever seen in my entire life. Like in the Sacramento Opera Hall, they have like a giant organ that goes up into the ceiling. Like the pipes go all the way around and like it's pretty badass looking. Like if you've never seen it before or if you've never seen one before, it's pretty, pretty overwhelmingly awesome. So do I have to stop in order to get my stamina back? Oh, that's lame. Okay, so I guess we just got to like sit here for a second. Maybe we got to walk. Does that help? Walk it off? No. Is there anything up here? Like can I loot any of these locations after having cleared them out? Nobody says that they're getting slaughtered, so I'm going to assume that for a moment my assistance is no longer needed. Okay, well I guess there's nothing up here. Never mind then. I don't know. I'm a greedy person. I like to get in there and grab all that loot once I realize that I have an opening. I guess that for right now... Huh. Let's keep it trucking. I have no idea what the best way to play this is going to be. But I figure we should probably... I'm going to go after the pump station, maybe. i go back over here. Let's take a look at the map. So the pump station is almost directly north of here, as is the stash. So I guess we'll go to the north for a little bit. And we'll try not to get ourselves irradiated, otherwise shot, punctured, or hurt. Because if we go to the north, we should be able to find a stash. And those tend to be pretty lucrative. Clear the road to the burnt farmstead. It's already burnt. What do we want it anymore? It's, it's been on fire. What does that guy do right there? He's got an arrow on his head. Is he one of the guides that takes us to other places? Yes, no, maybe. Is that what this guy does? Let's talk to him. What? Okay, so he's a trader and he can take us to other places too. He's also got 5,000 rubles. So I can get rid of... Which one's got a better condition? I think that one's got a better condition. So I'm going to put that in right there. Got my AK. I don't want to get rid of that yet. I will, however, trade in as many of these guns as I can because we're already stocked up, so why carry around more stuff than we can handle? 468 rubles right some? there. Yeah, let's trade those over, and that'll make us a little bit richer. Give us some cash that we can work with. I don't know how this thing works. It looks like it gives us an alarm signal when we go near an anomaly. Yeah, I knew about that. So to switch to artifact search mode, raise the device's front cover, the antenna. Well, I tried every single numerical indicator, so maybe I'll check that after the episode. I'll take a look at the keybinds and figure out if we can use that or not. Still, we made a little bit of money, so I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, never a down thing to get, like, never gets me down to make a little bit more cash. Let's head out through the swamps, I guess. Oh, good. This is super blind. It makes me feel very, very out of cover. The AI can see through these reeds, and we can't. That's the problem. That's always been one of the big issues with stalkers, that the AI can see through bushes and things like that. They automatically see you as though you're, like, plain as day, and you can't see them. It's a little bit disappointing. It becomes troublesome. Is it raining right now? What is that fuzziness that the world just acquired? I think it's raining. Alright, well. Let's go this way. I don't know if they're leading an assault right now, but we can give it a go. Where are we on the map? So if we keep going in this direction, we can find ourselves a loverly little stashificle. 
A stashicle? I think a stashicle sounds better. A little stash? I don't know. A piece of a stash? Here it is over here. Let's see if we can acquire it for ourselves. Ooh, we're like waist deep in water. Right? Oh, man, it's radioactive. Balls. Well, I don't have a whole lot of radioactivity supplies, so I think I might ignore that one. Can I search this car? It's like random looking little Subaru looking thing that fell in the water. Okay, since we can't get to the stash, should I stay on the road? Is that what they're suggesting right now? It might just be the water. I remember in the first game when you went in the water, you... Balls. Well, damn, since I opted to walk so intelligently into the middle of a radioactive storm, I suppose I had to replay that entire section over again. I forgot that this game doesn't autosave or anything like that. So essentially, I'm back at the church right now. I played through and I beat everything all over again. It's all good. It's not that big of a deal. We lost our shotgun, but I wasn't really using it that much anyways, and we made more money this time around, so whatever. I didn't actually, I noticed the HUD moved around, so I actually been playing for about 20 minutes before I started recording back again after that death, just to get a feel for the HUD real fast, because it displays radioactivity a little bit different in this game game than it used to. I think we should be alright though. Are we being attacked again? Oh shit, we're being attacked again. Hold on. I've been holding this place off now. Like, they just keep coming too. Like, that's the really scary part is that the invasions are just like non-stop in this game. They're throwing grenades and all kinds of crazy stuff. Let's lay down a little bit of attrition here and force them to come through the door because I don't know if our guys can actually hold this. Like, we have some guys here, but I don't know everybody. I just don't know. These guys have grenades and all kinds of ways to dig us out of here I think he who's shooting at us right now you got to watch for anybody with a pistol too because they're a little bit more dangerous after this firefight we'll break off the episode but you've actually got to be a little bit more mobile in this game than you were in the first one where like they know exactly where you are and they'll actually amass their fire against you so unfortunately if you don't know what happened I died from the radiation I, I died from the radiation storm we came back I actually relearned the HUD a little bit because I was a tad confused about where it was displaying my radiation. It used to actually be inside your inventory. Now it should be on screen at least a little bit with those little tabs. And this place just keeps getting hammered on by the banditos. And so I figured we'll probably hang tight here for a minute and just kind of like earn our scraps here. I looted a guy and it says there's a stash actually out there in the graveyard that we didn't have before. So there's another one down. The firefights are way more intense than Clear Sky than they were in the first game. Like seriously. It's like haywire out here. Is there anybody left? Did we finally win? Okay, so I think that's it. I don't need anything from you right now. I think we're just going to chill. I'm going to break off the episode right here and hold this position for a little while. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the second episode of Clear Sky. Intensity. Sheer intensity right now. See y'all later. Hi, do everybody.